everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nico and I am a full-time eBay reseller. Uh, I'm uploading as we speak my consignment results. I'm very, very thrilled with it. I hope you see the benefit in what I'm trying to do. I think I will end up at a zero inventory cost per month by doing it. Yes, labor cost. You know, yes, I'm a nurse, so I could be making 30 bucks an hour or more. So nothing's free, but it's free as far as like you know, cash out of my business as far as the business is concerned. If you look at my time, that's a whole nother calculation, but I still think I'm spending less time sourcing overall and getting it free. So I just think it's amazing. Go look at that video. Um, you know, if you didn't know about it, when you're done with this shipping video, go look. The downside is that I've been really concentrating on that for the last two and a half weeks. I've had free places to stay in Denver and I took advantage of it to try this out. Um, and uh, so my sales on eBay are down. I've got things to my VA like I should. He got his work done on time and then it's just sitting here. So. After I do the shipping video, I'm going to try to power out as many listings as I can. Um, I've got about 40 of them. All I need to do is double check them and put them away. But I don't like to be in a hurry because my VA will use keywords that I just wouldn't use once in a great while. And everybody makes mistakes. He makes very, very few, honestly. But I still am the final person launching these. So I don't want to be stressed or in a hurry. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Um, let's go ahead and see what I sold. I sold six orders in the last 25 four hours for a hundred and eighty four dollars and ninety three cents I got this in here because I just wanted to use a regular bag um, but it's a book so I'm just going to show you the best I can I won't show you the front of the book this is farm and ranch Spanish I've had this for over two years um, it had really good comps at the time but it just was a slow seller I guess um, I thought I would get a lot more for this, but anyway, it's fine. I still got this at a garage sale. I can't remember exactly what I paid, but I'm assuming a dollar or less. And this sold for um, $20 plus shipping, so $26.79, no promotions at all. This is something I was getting ready to pull, guys, just to be really frank and honest. Ooh, come back here. Come back here. Okay, this I have media mail on. Sorry, I gotta get my scale to work here. Okay, so I'm at 14 ounces. This is going to Fredericksburg, Texas. And uh, media mail is 365 and I charged 475. Oh, I don't have any paper in there. That's not gonna work. I know I don't have any labels in there. Duh, I took it out to, uh, thankfully I didn't push print yet. I uh, took it out to copy a recipe this morning, and so I just have, if I have any paper at all, it's regular paper. Let me get organized as we speak, guys. When you see my consignment video, I think you'll understand why I'm like a little bit frazzled and a little bit um, unorganized. But to me, I think the trade-off, actually the reason I'm a little behind is because of the, the pick I did yesterday, and that video is up also. So go look at the pick I did. Uh, it was a private thing. I got invited to go there on short notice. I didn't even know I was going. And uh, yeah, so that worked out really well. Got some good stuff, I think. All right, scissors. Where would you be hiding? I need to take the scissors with me um, to the bins to take off the arc tags. I don't want to take off the consignment tags till I get home and show you guys what I'm getting with my consignment money. And I won't remember the prices if I... Um, if I don't leave the tags on, but at the uh, at the bins, the old ARC prices or the old Goodwill prices, I need to prep my stuff to go sell it. So I need to take these scissors. Let's see, I'm using this. Okay. Let's see what else we sold. Yeah, my sales are really low, but they could go up in a day if I could just get my stuff launched. Oof. This is a good sale here. This is where I'm headed, guys. This is an Inoa. If you ever see Inoa, I-N-O-A-H. To me, it's almost always over a $20 sale. Really cute. It's just these kind of art to wear tunic um, type tops. And this has pockets. So, you know, they have side pockets. I did put that there was some pilling on it because that's the only downside of this fabric. Um, I only have had this since, it sold right away. I've had this since June 12th. It's now June 28th, so two weeks. Sorry guys, I need some more water. 
Um, this sold for $32.39 plus shipping, so $42.59. It's one of those brands I'm looking for in the plus size all the time. Um, always looking. I guess this was a large. This isn't even plus size, but in, in any size, I would pick this up. Okay, we are at 11 ounces. I had 14 just because I probably launched this when I wasn't near the item. Um, this is going to Georgetown, Texas. It's going to cost $4.88 and I charged $6.95. So yeah, I'm going to eat supper, eat lunch. I don't even know what day or time it is. I'm going to eat lunch. I'm going to go eat some taco salad. Um, go to the mail, drop these six orders off. I don't know if I need gas. My hubby washed my car for me yesterday while I was at the laundromat, so that's a blessing. I can see out of my window. Um, and then I need to be in the car by 2 or 2.30 because I really need to, you know, start working my way to Denver if I'm going to go. And uh, in between, I need to list. So how's that going to happen? It's not. So I'm going to end up taking some work with me, which I just despise doing that. Um... What I do when I have to do that, let me see where my stack is, is I will do the best I can and then I'll just take my virtual assistant sheets with me. So like I can look at the photos and double check that he has the right photos in it. And then I have all my numbers and everything that I would need on the sheet that I sent him anyway. And so that's on more complicated things. On just like a lucky Western Pearl Snap, you know, I can see on the tag the size, make sure he got the size right, and just make sure that it's first class or whatever. And so I do really well doing it this way. I don't like it because then I come home with a bunch of back stuff to do the put away. I don't do the put away at the same time. Normally my system is take it out of here, double check the listing, put it away, put it in the box, and carry it in the garage where it belongs. That's what I hate about doing stuff on the road. It's not that it's not possible. Then I just come home and I've got this huge put away pile to face, and I don't like that. But it's okay. I get to go to Denver. I have a free place to stay, so I am not looking a gift horse in the mouth. I'm very thankful. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren, brand new. Um, it's got kind of a, see, I put Southwestern. I didn't put Aztec. I might have been able to get away with that. But anyway, very nice sweater. It's only a medium, though. Um, and it's cotton. It's not any special fabric. But I've had this a while. I think I listed this, let's see, April 22nd. So I've had it May and June, so two months it took, even in the middle of winter, for this to sell. So I probably, because I priced it high, I wanted some money for it. They did come along and use my 30% off coupon, which means that it's someone on my mailing list. Maybe it's one of you guys. I only send 30% um, off coupons to former customers or to people who are my followers. So thank you if it's someone out there from my channel who bought it. I appreciate that very much. Um, it doesn't say repeat buyer, and I, that's where I'm confused a little bit on who's using my 30% coupon. I don't mind if it gets out there. It doesn't matter to me, but um, anyway, so this sold no promoted listing, just the 30% off coupon. So... <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I really need, I have water if I need it. Um, $28.74 plus shipping, so $29.87. That's because of the, the 30%. So that's a good sale. That's right where I want to be. I don't remember if I got it at the bins or got it for 4 bucks at a store. That's what I would have paid at the most. This is going to Jersey City, New Jersey. So thank you to the person. I don't want to say their name in case they're not on the channel or don't want that. Um, anyway... I uh, charged $9.75, and it's going to cost $8.30. I love my cup that my daughter got me for Mother's Day. It's cute, cute, but it's out. I don't have any more iced tea. I guess I'll have to have some water, guys. Sorry. Water, water. Doo, doo, doo. Peter Millar, this is a little bit better. Um, Peter Millar is tough for me. I know it should sell for more. I feel like I wait forever and give it a chance to sell. This is a Peter Millar sweater men's extra large merino wool with no damage. And I have had this at least since I relisted it since 
well, June, I relisted it. I've had this for six months, no doubt. It's been through at least one winter, maybe two, based on the number. It's number 3768, and I'm in the 5500s. So, you know, almost 2,000 items ago. Just could not get it to budge. So I took $15.17 plus shipping, so $23.56. Um, you know, I'm disappointed in that sale, I think, for an XL and for Merino wool. I don't know why I'm not getting the traffic on Peter Millar. I, for a while, I was just bombarding eBay with it. And I, I do sell it, but I just can't seem to get the, you know, the prices I want. So it makes it hard for me to pick it up. Now, at the bins, I... Excuse me, I still will, but I'm trying not to list things for $15, so it makes it hard. Okay, 14 ounces. But anyway, that work I did on June 9th, it's paying off, paying off, paying off. Going to LA, Los Angeles, California. I guess they're getting ready for something. I don't know. It's going to be cold. Um, I charged $6.95 on the shipping and it's going to cost $6.22. I want to open this and show you. I've sealed the side and I want to show you what I'm selling. trying to keep this place straight for my husband if it were just me with as exciting as I feel like life is with this consignment thing you know the mess would bother me I'm not gonna lie I'm not saying it wouldn't bother me but you know it's less bothersome than if you have someone helping you my husband's not technically my employee you know he doesn't get paid by the business but he does um come in and help me you know do a lot of side things so if it weren't for him being in here and in the garage you know, I would just say, okay, this is just going to be a mess for a couple weeks, but I can't really do that. All right, these are a pair of Sam Edelman's. These are Gladiator. They don't show because they kind of are smushed down, but these are the Gladiator style. And these were given to me by the lady who I'm selling the jewelry. I had told the story before. She had this bag in her front seat. And she said, okay, well, here's all the jewelry and stuff. And I'm going to go donate these old shoes to the thrift. And she said, unless you want them. And she just happened to say that. And I said, oh, yeah, I want them. I'll take them somewhere. I'll get them to the thrift for you or at least let me look at them. So um, there was a brand new pair, never worn set of Toms in there and I consigned those this week. I don't know exactly how much I got for them because it's just all a group buying thing, but I did consign those right away. And then these, I knew they were worth it on eBay. So these only took, what, two weeks? These I listed on June 15th. It's now June 28th and they sold right away for um. $25 plus shipping, $37.35, no promotions and no coupons. So I'm excited about that sale. Excited. If they had not been a gladiator style, I don't know how they would have done, you know, um, on that. Okay, one pound, seven ounces. Uh, parcel select is $9.58. These are going to Cypress, Texas. Let's see. Priority is $9.94. I'm going to go ahead and do that. They paid $9.50. It's going to be a little over, um, you know, $9.94, but that's fine. I'll just get it to my customer. And then I've got one more. I guess it came in while we were sitting here because it's not here. So I do have enough of a mess that it could be right here, but I don't think it is. I'm going to go pull it in the garage. I'll tell you what it is. Ooh. I don't know, guys don't know I'm in the middle of a really good author I really like her and if you have an audible um audible thing she for some reason a lot of her books don't require one of your credits it's like free on audible it's like the author of the year I don't know what I don't know how I'm getting these particular ones um you know free as a download let me tell you her name now that I'm telling you so if you have Audible, I really like her. They're kind of, I don't even know how you describe them. They're kind of mysteries, but not exactly. Um, let me see, but I really am enjoying them. I didn't get them because they're free. I bought one, and then I just went to get another one, and then they were free. 
Um, this is um, Joanna Davidson Palatano, and I am almost done with Finding Lady Enderly. And the one that I finished was Lady Jane Disappears. Loved that one. And then, um, not started, is A Rumored Fortune. So I am going to start A Rumored Fortune today. Um, I'm just going to stick with this author just because I'm kind of used to it. And then I had started the, um, what was it, the... Oh, another author, and I loved her first one, but then the characters didn't continue. She has like eight more in this supposed series, but the characters don't continue. And I'm like, what's up with that? I got attached to these characters. So I'm kind of miffed, and I'm not listening to the rest. I tried the second and the third one and just couldn't make it through. It was just too many new characters. I loved the old one. I at least wanted some crossover. I know I'm picky, right? But I'm like, nope, I'm done with you. So um, I'm moving on. And this lady, the characters don't cross over, but she doesn't tell you that they're going to. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't make it like a series. So um, anyway, I'm excited about that book. I've got to have something to look forward to with all my car trips, right? Okay, so the one that I am going to go pull is a J. McLaughlin pair of shorts. They're a men's 36. They're white and blue. They're seersucker. They're pleated. And they're new with tags. Um, I did also have someone use a 30% off coupon. So if it's uh, one of my viewers, thank you, thank you. I've had this pair since May. They're really cute. And I was wondering why, you know, they hadn't sold. Very cute pair of seersucker shorts. Um, that was the only promotion. No promoted listings were used. $23.51 plus shipping, so $24.77 because of the, um, the coupon. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get this video also uploaded. Uh, go back and watch my consignment video. Tell me what you think. I need all the advice I can to make this work. Let me know if you think it's going to be successful. And I'm going to head on out to Denver, guys, and try it again. Take care. Please subscribe and like. It really helps me out a lot. Bye-bye.